Hey guys, this is 8-Bit Eric, and as you can tell, I'm a big fan of classic gaming. Join me on my crusade to find any and all retro, from flea markets, garage sales, and everything in between. If I can find it, I want it. So it's Sunday, I'm bored, I want some video games. I call Chuckles, he goes game hunting like every day, he finds all the good shit. So I figured, you know what, I need a good luck charm. So I call and see what he's doing. He mentions that he's gonna go game hunting with Deb and Josh, so perfect. They're my best friends. I got a call from 8 Bay Eric saying he wants to go game hunting because I told him me and uh, Warren Dan and Deb are going game hunting. So we start off the day. Me and Chuckles were gonna go on our game hunt, and Ruben Steele was supposed to go too, but he couldn't make it because he was in Mexico or something like that. And Chuckles tells me, oh, April Eric wants to go. And it's like, fuck. I owe, I owe him like six bucks. So it's like, okay, so we'll take him. But I don't want to take him to the regular place that we go because he'll buy up all the shit. Because he's a bitch like that. So we take him to Trader's Village because we know he's not gonna find anything. Am I supposed to say that? What? I mean, what if he finds out? Well, what? Oh, at the spot? Yeah. Oh, no. We'll that okay. I have some of the greatest friends in the world. I'm lucky to be 8-Bit Eric. So we meet up with him at, at Michael's Craft Centers or whatever, and he looks like a reject from Team World 2. Say something. I don't know, uh... Game chasing. Kicking <laughs> rope. He's a dumb dumb dog. <laughs> Eric shows up, hairy as always. The whole time I was thinking, I'm gonna go game hunting with this hairy bastard. And so we're, we're in there, we're paying for the stuff already, and he's like, F this place, F that, F this. It's like, if you're gonna say it that loud, just say fuck. Hey, hey. welcome to the person running the register in such a slow joke. <laughs> you're stupid. Dude, that was good. <laughs> He's like, man, F you. It's like, well, fuck you too. So he leaves his vehicle in the parking lot, of course. Doesn't even offer, you know, hey, I know your birthday's coming up. Hey, I know you're tight for money right now. Let's take my my energy saving fucking hybrid SUV. Car, my hybrid SUV bitch car. No, we'll go in your car, the gas guzzler. And all I could think of was like, what does his ass look like? I think his asshole probably looks like that. You know, this is an asshole and that is his hair everywhere. <laughs> so me, Josh, Deb, and Chuckles went to Trader's Village. We go to Trader's Village and no one has fucking money to get in a fucking parking. <laughs> Eric has a dollar and Josh, I mean, poor Dan has no money and I only carry cards. So we get in the car, we're heading out. It's me, Deb, Chuckles, 8-Bit Eric, and all of his body hair. Ever since Shady J caught me slipping, I've been determined for redemption. I mean, look, I even have my own rip-off game chaser show. We even have the little background here with the floaty shit that just comes like, all right, you know, all Eric fancy. Show. I'm recording right here. Why are you going to be recording something else too? I'm Dr. Pepper in. <laughs> Fuck Dr. Pepper. As we go in, I, I warn Eric there is a lot of resellers here and the odds of finding good deals are second to none. Does that make sense? Second to none? No. So we 
we walk in, what does Eric do? He trips. <laughs> and here's this motherfucker walk, running, walking fast. Because they, they, there's three fat people behind him. And he's just walking fast because he's the fittest one, I guess. He's trying to find all the good deals. Passing up everything. If you didn't see a game, you didn't even try to look for it. I am coming into Trader's Village, chicken without its head off. If I don't see a game, I'm not going to waste my time looking for it because somewhere in that flea market, there's some fat Chinese kid buying that game that belongs to me. They made my own action figure. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Looks just like you. So we're walking around, and the first place that we go to, Chuckles finds uh, a Batman game. It's the city or the, the asylum or whatever, whatever one it is. I don't know what it is. And he's like, oh, well, I'm going to go and, and get cash out. It's like, oh, nice to have cash, Mr. Fancy Pants. We find this one table. I was going to buy Batman Arkham City. Arkham Asylum. We found this one table. I was going to buy Arkham... Uh, Asylum for 10 bucks. It's not bad for 16. Mm -hmm. Went to the ATM and this motherfucker finds a whole shitload of ColecoVision games. And I spot the Coleco games and I start walking over there. I was like, hey, this guy's got Coleco games and G.I. Joe's. Let's go check it out. So what's he do? His bitch ass runs over there and he tells the guy, Oh, this is Smurfs. This is a hard to find game. Blah, blah, blah. How much do you want for it? And I'm like, motherfucker. The guy charges him $4 for the Smurfs by itself. And we're walking away and he's like, Dude, I should have tried to make a deal for all the games. And right as soon as he says that, the guy says, uh, I'll sell you all the games for a dollar each. So no matter what he says, he didn't finagle it, he didn't work it and, and get all the games and all that. The guy was packing up all his shit and he told Eric, I'll sell you these games for a dollar each. So what does Eric do? Um, can I use the four dollars that I use for the Smurfs towards the three other games? And the guy laughs. Alright, so I got a bag of old like Atari, ColecoVision and Television stuff. Um, I bought Smurfs for three, but then he offered me everything else for a dollar. So I went ahead and just took it. So that was like, what, 14, 14 bucks total. So I think I kind of got a decent deal. I got a cool carrying case. So I did manage to find a stack of Atari games, and I ended up getting Smurfs for three bucks and then the rest of them for a dollar each. So I spent like 12 bucks. See, that's a great deal, and that's what flea marketing is supposed to be about, is finding the best deal. Needless to say, Eric walks out with a bunch of ColecoVision games. As I'm in this ATM with like a line of like 50 Mexicans, and it turns out only four of them wanted to use the ATM, this motherfucker finds Smurf for the ColecoVision for four dollars, and like maybe eight other games for a dollar each with the holding case, and he gives Born Dead War games. This is bullshit. Fuck you, Eric. Josh was being a big crybaby, so I just went ahead and sold them more games for a dollar. I did not give him it, Chuckles. I did not give it. Eric, 8-Bit Eric does not give anything away for free. Unless it's the goods. But that's for the ladies. So Chuckles comes back, and he's got like $300 cash on him. It's like, oh, did you go get Batman? He's like, no, it's too much. It's $10. I was like, you got $300 on you right now. No, I'm not going to pay $10 for a new game. down the, the different aisles there at the flea market and you know it's me, Deb, Chuckles, Apex, er, Ape and Eric's arm hair and then further down the way is Ape and Eric. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs>
It's funny because he's a hairy bitch. That's <laughs> me and Deb go up like two booths. Just two booths away. And it's like, I call Chuckles up and I'm like, hey Chuckles, just walk down this way and that's where we're at. He's like, okay. And then we're waiting and we're waiting. Eight bit Eric up, and I'm like, Eric, where y'all at? Oh, we're blah blah blah. I was like, that's where I left y'all at. He's like, yeah, okay. I said, all right, well, you know, walk up a little bit further. We're in the center where all the seats are at. We're chilling right there. Okay, 30 minutes go by. Then we finally, you know, he calls us, where are you at? And we finally meet up, he's like, oh, well, I went this way, and I took a right, and I went left, and I went this way. Don't ever give him directions, because I told him to go straight, and apparently he can't go straight. Now, Trader's Village is a big flea market in San Antonio, so a lot of people will sell stuff there, and a lot of people go there. And that's prime target for resellers, and yeah, we found that out the hard way. So there's two shops in Trader's Village that I can recall that are resellers technically, and yeah, um... I don't appreciate that. That kind of takes the fun out of the flea marketing. Now we find those bitch ass resellers I was telling them about. Jesus Christ. This guy was selling Barbie for the NES for 15 bucks. That is fucking ridiculous. So moving on, I went to the other video game store that was there and his prices were just as ridiculous. The reseller right here, this motherfucker in the orange hoodie. Capcom version out. SK2 for 50 bucks. $15 for Barbie. I'd rather be $15 for Barbie shoving my ass and fucking fit for a video game. When you walk in somewhere and they're selling Barbie for 18 bucks, come on. That's ridiculous. Eight, Barbie is not even worth 10. Maybe 8, but I wouldn't spend 8 bucks at a flea market because A, people don't clean the games right there. B, people don't take care of it. And C, it's in hot weather or rainy weather or cold. It's, they're basically in storage sheds, like garages. You can't tell me the vendors store them properly at the end of the day. So, yeah, come come to show that the resellers in this world are insane. <sighs> so, we're going around Trader's Village and we come across the reseller and his shit is fucking ridiculous. So, we just move on. Yay buys. Yay buys. Godzilla versus uh, Monster Zero, which is actually uh, King Ghidorah. <laughs> hey, look. We sports wear. Chuckles did find Street Fighter 2 collection and a stack of CDs and it was actually in the wrong case of what it was supposed to be. He just opened a music CD, saw it in there, and he got it for a buck. So he got a couple good deals. I beat him to the punch in a couple rare items. I found a Street Fighter 2 Extra for the PlayStation 1. It was just a disc, but it was only a dollar, so that was a good deal. for 15. Dollar. 
found it in the wrong case. I also found a Resident Evil gun survivor. It was right underneath his nose. And I, of course, he was all pissed off about it. But I did find him some cable wires for the Dreamcast, so he should be happy about that. I think the only thing so far that I think is good about Trader Village is the hizzos walking around. I mean, damn! Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Those are the nicest mannequin asses I've seen in my life. So we just walked around, looked around some more, and we didn't find much as far as games go. Um, it wasn't a good day at all, so. I did come across a couple of PlayStation 1 games. I got WWE Smackdown and I got um, Star Wars Jedi Power Battles. I spent about three bucks for each of those, so I guess that's not too bad. I need more PS1 games. Anyways, yeah, you know, when you flea market, I guess it's just a hit or miss. You never know what you're gonna find, so at least it was a good trip, I suppose. But yeah. I guess next time we'll see what I'll find. <sighs> so I guess, you know, that's just the way it goes. Copyright infringement. So we take him to Trader's Village because we know he's not going to find anything. Other than that, the game selection sucks. I mean, everything there is expensive. It's like, come on, man. It's on the south side. That's like little Mexico. You got to hook some of us Mexicans up. God, trade us some pesos or something. And of course, all in all, it, we, we really didn't find very much shit. Um, I think the best buy was uh, the yay buy. Was uh, the ColecoVisions. Uh, ColecoVision games and uh, the Smurf, the Smurf, the very rare Smurf game. But uh, I think the winner in this little game hunt was 8-Bit Eric, so fuck you, Eric. To cap the day off, we went to Bill Miller's. Chuckles paid with the $300 that he had. That was pretty nice. Um, Eric got the Coleco games. Chuckles didn't get the, bat the, the Batman game that he wanted. And all I was left with was some phantom smells in the back of my car, a gas ticket, and arm hair. Really? arm hair hey guys you like this video be sure to check out my other videos here and also subscribe thanks a lot this is 8-bit eric and i hope you have a nice day Peace.